Welcome back to another video. Giving all glory and praise to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, that belongs to the apostles and elders of GMS Great Millstone. Wanted to speak about this image where you see women, you know, just various types and looks and images of, of women in 1990 versus 2024, and they all look the same. This is called Hama, uh, homogenization, all right, you know, from the word uh, homogenous. Homogenize uh, from the word homogenous, which means to make similar. All right. And um, this isn't just for women, but this is a good visual because this is something that I notice every day. How pretty much, in, you know, particular blacks and Hispanics, uh, the women, they all starting to look the same. They all seem to have this same look, um, this Barbie look. This uh, the same hairdo, the little curly hair, uh, baby edges um, that they doing. Um, these long weaves, um, tattoos, you know, certain piercings, you know, pretty much um, through the internet. Because this is what the internet, the, the World Wide Web, is doing. It's pretty much exposing everyone to the same things, and it's, it's kind of shaping the mindsets of all the people. You know, another example. Even slang, like uh, the word pause, that was like a New York term. Whenever somebody would say something that can sound kind of gay, you would say pause, you know, basically implying like, I ain't mean no gay shit by that. But you hear people on the West Coast, South, pausing, you know, comments. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, a, that was a, a fat stick he had, pause. You know, it's like, okay. And this somebody from, from, from goddamn the South saying that, so... People are being made similar. They're, they're, they're speaking the same thing and they're looking the same. Because just another quick point. Um, back in the day when you went from state to state, you know, people literally, it was literally like going to another country. People dressed differently in different states, cities. They dressed differently. They spoke differently. You know, different customs, mannerisms. Um, and now everywhere you go, people are kind of having like a uniform, homogenized way of, of speaking and acting. And, you know, I just kind of wanted to point that out. Um, one more point, then we're going to the scriptures. I was uh, watching a tennis game yesterday. I was watching a tennis game yesterday, and I saw this haircut. The man bun, one of the tennis players had this, this haircut here. And you see this pretty much everywhere you go now, too. Um, pretty much in any liberal city, you're going to see a lot of guys with this haircut. Right? And so how I want to tie that to the scriptures, because beginning with the, the Greeks, you had Antiochus Epiphany, who was um, a descendant of the, uh, he was of the Seleucid Empire, which was one of Alexander's generals that he parted his kingdom to with uh, as he passed away. Um, and the Seleucid, you know, empire, it reigned over uh, much of the Mediterranean, uh, Mesopotamian region. And under King Antiochus or Antiochus, you know, he pretty much ushered in what's known as Hellenization, which is what brought in the Greekish, uh, which pretty much forced the, the Greekish uh, fashion over the Jews. And this is why in the New Testament, it talks about neither uh, Jew nor Greek. You know, uh, that's what that Greek, because it was a big Greek influence that a lot of our people were kind of literally forced into. And uh, over time, you know, they abandoned the customs of their fathers, which are the, the, the ways of the, you know, law, statutes, commandments, the covenant. And uh, they adopted those ways and they became uh, like castaways. They became looked at as, as castaways. So this is First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws so all the heathen agreed to the commandment of the king. So it wasn't just the Greeks, the so-called whites, the Edomites, and Jews. It was the other heathens too. You had, uh, I think Elam was over there in, in that that region, Elam, and, and you had others. And so we see that happening now under these same descendants of these same people, under the descendants of the Greeks, which the Greeks were uh, Edomites, but the original Greeks were Japhites, but you had Greeks, you had Edomites that ended up taking over the land of Japheth, which is Europe. And they ended up uh, 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 taking those names. Same thing they're doing in, in the land of Israel today. They, they've taken that land and they, they call themselves Jewish. So, etc. Um, 
they, same thing here in America. They, they, they took the land from the, uh, the tribes that were here, uh, falsely labeled as Native Americans. And uh, where you have the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci named the land after himself, Amerigo. You have America. And now when you think of the Americans, you know, they're synonymous with so-called white people. So it's the same shit. So you had these people at, in this day saying, you know, to his whole kingdom, everyone should be one people. Everyone should leave his law. So everyone needs to be made similar. All right. Homogenized. They need to be brought on a similar way of thought, similar way of speech, similar way of doing things. And that's what we see happening now through the Internet. The World Wide Web is that the world is starting to speak the same viewpoints, they're starting to dress the same, have these same liberal ideologies, think the same, pure madness. And that's why the Lord is going to intervene on it. Okay, so within this, you have the world being homogenized into the image of the beast. And that's why the Bible condemns um, those that worship it. So that's why when you go to Revelation 14, it says doom for worshipers of the beast. See, and the third angel followed him, verse 9, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with the fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel and in the presence of the lamb. And on the, on the right hand side, the Lord is making us homogenized um, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Uh, let us be conformed to his image. Was that Romans? Romans 12 and 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your world, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And, and being conformed to the image of this world is being made similar with the ways and the customs and the ideologies of the of the where this world is going, which is a liberal, satanic uh, way. Exodus 23 and 2, thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in the cause to decline after many to rest. John 15 and 19, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. 1 Corinthians 3 and 19, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God, for it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Ephesians 2 and 2, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Yep, so, you know, separate from uh, where this world is going. Because it's going in a dark place where everyone is going to be, there won't be any private, you know, um, no, 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 no way that you think. It's going to be with, it's going to be straight group thing. That's where this is all going. That's why when you go on these social media platforms, there's really um, certain narratives that, it's only really certain narratives that are being allowed to flourish in, uh, in the media, in the world, and, and you know, and they're quieting, um, uh, truth, they're quieting masculine, uh, they're quiet, they're qu uh, quieting, um, even um, um, even some religious, well, religious talking points are being quieted. I ain't gonna say religion, uh, religious thought in general, but certain talking points that are religious are being uh, talking, uh, are being quieted, and um, you know, they're saying, hey man, we're in a new day, that that old stuff that that's not relevant, but it is relevant though. But they're saying, uh, cause in the new world, it's it's supposed to be about the everyone, everyone being on page with the new way, you know, basically worshiping the beast, the whole kingdom being one, and, and everyone abandoning their laws or abandoning their customs, their manners, their ways, their thoughts, you know, their privacy, and being under the uh, the watch of Big Brother. What is Big Brother? Nineteen eighty four is Big Brother concept and surveillance. Let's look at that.
there's a good chance you've heard someone say, Big Brother is watching you. Maybe they said it to discourage you from doing something you shouldn't when you were alone and thinking that no one would know. Or maybe they said it to mean that the government is keeping tabs on its citizens with surveillance cameras or other means. The saying originally comes from George Orwell's dystopian novel, 1984. A utopia is an imaginary place where the government, laws, and social conditions are perfect. A dystopia is the exact opposite. It is a society characterized by oppression, misery, and often a totalitarian form of government that attempts mm. to stomp out individual freedoms in favor of the state's absolute power. Yeah. Sometimes the leaders of dystopian society... Yep, so getting rid of individualism and bringing everyone together under this, under one way. No more individualism like you've seen in the past. Everyone looking the same, speaking the same, thinking the same, having the same talking points, having the same programming. Right? So, man, we see we at the end, man. The Lord about to step in soon. This this, this has to happen. So I just wanted to bring that out, man. I thought this was an interesting picture. And, and I thought it was deeper than just just the women looking the same because the women are followers. So they're 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 you know the serpent. The scripture says in Revelation twelve chapter that old serpent. So the serpent in Genesis the third chapter used the woman um, to deceive man, which caused to you know send the creep into the earth. So it's the same thing being done now. You know, women are being used um, to help forward sin in the earth, uh, and the greatest sin is going to be you know that that taking of that chip, um, which which solidifies your worship to the beast which is why it won't be forgiven um so yeah i just want to bring that out i'm going to close up my prayer was edifying lesson shalom